Kavanagh. Thanks very much for joining the Facts TV. Oops, knocking the table. Uh, ben, uh, obviously quite a belated welcome to the club, but uh, how have you uh, how have you found your time here already uh, during pre-season? Uh, really enjoying it. Um, seems to have fitted in really well, like a great set of lads. Um, I think I think we recruited well for this year and looking forward to the season to start. How did how did the move from uh, Hull KR, how did that come about? Um, I always wanted to like finish playing Halifax um, and I wanted to transition into getting a full-time job for when I finished so mm. um, Rich gave me a rang at the end of the year and um, it was pretty simple really. I'm an Halifax lad and I always wanted to play for him so it was easy for me to um, sign on the dotted line. Mm. Was it quite a difficult decision to leave OKR or how did, how did that all unfold? Um, yeah, I enjoyed it there but as I say I always wanted to, I always wanted to play for Halifax so it was a pretty easy decision when Rich gave me the call. Mm. Was he quite a big part of the reason that you decided to join join the team, Richard's influence? Or? Um, yeah, uh, he, he always gets nominated nominated for like the coach of the year every year, didn't he? So I wanted to have a chance to play under him, and I've heard like good things about him. So yeah. And you feel like you've settled into settled into the group quite well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's some good characters, Muzza, a few of the other boys, and they've helped me uh, settle in pretty well. So yeah. Obviously, you from Halifax. You mentioned that's quite a big reason of you joining. How much will it mean to you? And obviously, when you're playing a competitive game for your for your hometown team. Yeah, definitely. Um, my dad's a Halifax fan as well, and he was chuffed a bit when I signed here. So I think uh, he'll enjoy it when I play that first game down at Shea. And looking forward to it. Plenty of competition in the forwards this season. You must be uh, looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely. It's always good to have a uh, competition for places. Keeps everyone on the toes, and we've got a big big squad this year. So. If anyone injuries or if they're not playing well, anyone those people can fit into the position. So it's always good to have. Mm. And plenty of youngsters coming through, but as part of that competition as well. Yeah, team. definitely. Um, I think I did a report a few weeks ago. And they asked about like the youngsters and that. And when I first came, I, I didn't realise how many how many good kids they had. So yeah, um, looking forward to them to develop this year as well. Does that keep the older players on the toes? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're always keen. They're <laughs> young lads, so yeah, it keeps me on my toes. Um, just in terms of your role as part of the community, is that right? You're doing stuff. Yeah, for, definitely. For the um, yeah. Um, me, Bob, Flynn, we do uh, the community. We started a couple of weeks ago. We started going to the uh, junior schools and that. So hopefully we will get some more work this week, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, how, have you, how have you found that experience? What 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 exactly does that entail? Um, so just teaching the basics, really. Um, I've been doing year six, so. Been teaching about a pass, or to what well, been playing tag rugby with him. Just I like being a part of the team and that. So yeah, they seem to enjoy it. So yeah, it's good. Is that something you'd like to get involved in after your playing career? Or yeah, definitely. Um, I coached Stainland Open Age a few years ago. Um, I had to pack that in when I went to Old Car. So yeah, I'm uh, looking to get back into coaching the junior team. So yeah, it'll help me out. Uh, just finally, um, top four, the top five, not top four this season. Obviously, I'm presuming is the is the aim for the team. How do you assess the competition in the in the championship this year? Yeah, it's very strong. Um, there's lots of teams made some good signings this year. Um, we set our goals uh, a few weeks back, and we want to get in that top three. So I think we've got the squad that can do it, and hopefully we can show that at the end of the year. Fingers crossed, Ben. Thanks for your time. Much no appreciated, and we'll uh, speak to you soon.